don't stop. Well, that's a uh, that's a good enough intro there, I'd say. How's it going, everybody? It's Pride here, back again with another Dark Souls 3 video. Today we are going to be using the Great Club, a weapon that I've been wanting to use on my channel now for a while, and I'm just I don't know why I'm just getting around to it, but. It's a pretty beast weapon, man. Being a great club makes it already below most weapons in the game that have any type of speed. But this is probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite of the great clubs. Great clubs, the great hammers. My bad. It's really good. It's really strong. Has, let's see. Whoops, I accidentally fucking got off of it. And I did it again. Mm, 589 AR. Gonna have a little bit more, probably around 570 or 670, 680 since I'm going to be buffing with Human Pine Resin. Probably one of my favorite movesets in the entire game. Has a regular Great Hammer, R1s, right bumper attacks. But then the R2 attacks, the strong attacks, are probably some of the best in the game. These here will catch people off guard. Look at that range, man. That range. You go so far with that. So you can be here. Somebody right in front of you, they're like, yep. This is, this is never going to hit me. You know, nowhere near me with the regular right bumper attacks. The right trigger attacks, those take you so far and they do so much damage. And pretty quick too, in my opinion. So those are amazing at catching people, especially when they roll away from you. But it's definitely not like a win button. This is definitely one of the harder weapons to use because it is a great hammer. Being so slow, it's not going to, you know, oh, R2, bam, got me the win. You know, if somebody has a quick weapon and they're pretty good with it, then they'll be able to easily get around you and get that speed that they need to fucking kill you. So overall, I'd say that great hammers are not amazing. They're definitely weapons that I struggle with myself a bunch. Probably some of the hardest weapons, in my opinion. But I guess we'll see how we do today against uh, Booty Main. Hey, Booty Main. You're kind of uh, eyeing me there. I like, I like the package that you have going on there. All right, let's do it, Booty Main. You're either going to dodge this or you're not going to dodge this. I went for the hit, you know? I, I gave you time to dodge, Booty Main. Well, then I guess he doesn't want to play. He came in here to peep at me. Fucking goggle my dick. What the hell, dude? Did he say, I'm going to point up, and that's where I want you to send me with that great club? I tried, man. If you saw, I gave it I gave it my all with that Charizard, too. He just wouldn't fly very far. Well, that was our first game. What a weird, weird match. Now, this thing does indeed have Warcry, but I don't really use the Warcry much because it gets rid of the R2 attacks. You know, you're not going to have those attacks. And to be honest, those are pretty good as well. They catch people off guard, especially after the second hit because they think, oh, it's over. Boom. And then that third hit comes right back down. Although I do think the regular right trigger attack is much better. So, you know, I thought I'd bring that up. People are most likely going to ask, why didn't I do it much? So I might as well put it early while they're still watching. While well, most people are still watching. I'm not going to accept the... The fucking hit to the moon. The moonlight great. So this guy's going full moonlight, huh? Oh, I thought he was going to come right near me. Oh, got got a little bit lucky there with, uh, with the delayed roll. I think he rolled just a little bit too early. There we go. And look at that, man. Look at that catch. I was charging it too. And then I let it out like when I saw he was going to roll because... You can also charge it and then basically let it go. And it's just like a rocket. That's gonna hit him hard. Most people are gonna get hit for about 500 HP with one regular R2, not even charge. Dude, if you do charge, that's like almost a thousand. There's times where this weapon can be awful, but then it has its moments where it is just nasty. Let's see where it uh, actually leans towards more in the next couple of games. I wouldn't be surprised that we lose nonstop after this. And he's got the Millwood. L Ladle Lover DS. Okay, Ladle Lover. You love ladles, huh? Why do you love ladles so much, dude? Where do you like putting them? How far do they go up? <laughs> That's not a fucking nice thing to say in a video. Jesus. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of scared of this guy because... Is he trying to parry the great club, dude? I'll give you a go. I'll give you a nice slow hit so you can see if you can get it right on target. Oh, what the fuck, dude? I still hit you. I hit him. I guess it's one of those that... Ooh, no catching him there. A little bit too slow. I really should have done the R2 attack there. I would have caught him perfectly. Damn. 
The hyper armor almost saved me. Okay, ladle lover, you got a little bit of lag going on there. We're just fine, but then, you know. There we go. That, damn, that caught him from here all the way around back there. Might want to leave those ladles alone, you know? They can't say no, so. Just because they can't say no doesn't mean it's not a no. Just saying. Hey, it's ladle lover again. I might try the, uh, the war cry a few times after, after a couple games. Kind of see where we end up with that. See if it's, uh, any better, because I never really do it much. Just because, you know, like I said... I don't, uh, I don't enjoy the right trigger attacks, and I love the right trigger attacks. It's probably my favorite thing about this, about this weapon. GG, once again, Ladle Lover DS. I like your big head, and I hope you like my big ladle. But of course, I always say it, and I gotta say it early. If you guys have any weapons you guys would like to see me use in a video, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. We are getting to the point where I've used probably like 80% of the weapons that I've used. There are a couple of stray ones that I haven't used. There are some that I'm not going to use because fuck them. Like for example, I'm not going to use every single whip. I am going to use some whips. I already have used the, uh, that bitch's hair. You know, where it's just hair and it goes on fire. I've used that, but I'm probably gonna go through uh, through a few more of those. So you can just go ahead and leave that if you want in the comments and I'll most likely get to it. Free hops, huh? You're, you're a beer man or you're a, a basketball man, I can't tell. Mm. That's just me being too slow, you know? I knew that was coming, dude. Saw it coming. Too far away! <laughs> oh shit, dude, he's gonna just do that? Alright, come on, free hops, don't be a pussy. Free hops! <sniffs> Fucking close, dude! Okay, that was, that was close. Nope! Oh, come on, game! Oh, he got... That one got me. That one actually tricked me. Damn it, dude. That's what, like, one swift movement? Oh, he got me down to the point of uh, a very low health with uh, one of those backstabs where, you know, you get backstabbed when you do a regular hit. Yeah, that should happen. But then it was just running away. You saw how he took out the washing pole, too. He's like, you know what? I'm only going to do running attacks with the washing pole. You can always tell who the biggest bitches are in this game. I'd say I'm probably around halfway there. I'm like half a bitch. All right, we got him again. Is he going to do the same thing? Probably. Wouldn't expect much. There we go. Alright, where's that weapon art? Dude, again? A fucking again? That's twice, dude. That's twice in a row. It's doing the exact same thing. Oh, and he switched. It was too hard for him. I can't believe he fucking hit me like that, dude. I cannot believe he got backstabbed on me twice like that. Whoa, and there's a lag. There's a lag. Too far away. The thing is, he's very conscious about those rolls, you know? But he doesn't want a regular attacks. Nope. Why would I do regular attacks, dude? There you go. Good fucking job there, dude. Good job. And you know, he did beat me once, but kind of kind of deserves this one. Mm. Mm. He did beat me once and he didn't fucking do it. Now I get to do it. That's like the boss fights in PvP. And we got him again. We got him again. Let's see who comes out victorious here at the end. He, let's see if he will get to point down or will I get to point down? Is he going to backstab me for the third time in a row, dude? <laughs> he was going for it again. You saw that shit, dude? He's already got it down. Yup. The third. Fuck this game, man. How the fuck do you get this shit? So it's like that. Like, how is that fair? <laughs> how is this weapon so slow that that can just happen, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if he would have backstabbed me there, dude. I wouldn't have been surprised if he would have backstabbed me there. Yep, and here it comes again. You gotta be shitting me, dude. Now, I'm definitely not gonna get a, a parry on this guy, because he's not gonna attack regularly. He's just gonna do just that. Oh, God, and I had no more stamina. And I had no more stamina. Dude, how do you do just that in a game? You've done the same thing 
non-stop oh man well i didn't get to point down guys i've died to the boss now twice and that's just such a shame i let you all down oh well fucking shit happens man i got to point down at least it happened once was not able to defeat the boss multiple times because uh i got backstabbed three times in a row when something like that happens you're just like really weapon you're that slow and i'm that shit i actually got somebody else huh that's uh that's nice space created I thought his name was Space Squirrel for a second. I don't know why. Hit him. There we go. Boom! Mmm, that damage, man. That damage and that range. GG, Space Squirrel. I'm still kind of shocked about those three backstabs. That still... That stuck with me. Kind of like he stuck his blade right on my spine. Alright, this guy's got uh, Goddards, I believe. A little bit early with the roll there. That's alright. Fucking Hellboy up in this bitch, dude. Ah, oh, damn it. Is that Goddard's? Because he hasn't... That was like the most perfect spacing right there. I need to just not get too close to this guy, you know? Oh, so it is Goddard's. Okay. I was just waiting for that. That confirmation. There we go. And the beautiful roll catch of this weapon. GG, Hellboy. Alright, Violet, man. Got a katana and a shield. A shield with a katana is not something you see very often, huh? I guess this type of shield that is going to be a lot of blocking. But if you block against me, that is not going to go well for you. Alright, so we got... Oh, now we got the, uh, the wind button. Damn it. A bit too far. Now, R2 attack? The Washi has an R2 attack? I thought it mainly just did running attacks. GG, dude. This weapon's so nice. I always enjoy using this weapon. I don't use it too often, but anytime I actually get around to it, and I'm like, you know what? I kind of want to use this R2 attack. And that's mainly my favorite attack. But now, I'm going to try some uh, some Warcry stuff instead of just the uh, the buff. Just to kind of see how that goes right here at the end, because I don't use it too often. Obviously, it's going to do all right in damage, but I want to see if that uh, the strong attacks are going to be good for catching people. All right, let's see how we do with uh, the war cry. Put up that weapon, Metal Midget. All right, we got uh, a quicker weapon, so he's got those daggers. Sweet. I got very lucky there. It went for like a, a very odd backstab. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought that that was going to do really well against him, to be honest. Because of the uh, the multiple hits, but nope. Whoa, that one was... What the shit? That one was super weird. I was like up the hill. I hit him like at the top, the very tippity top of his hitbox. I basically scalped him. I honestly think I might put this as the best great hammer in Dark Souls 3. I think I would, just because of the, the moveset. And I completely forgot I was going to be doing Warcry stuff. Alright, so he's going for a lot of damage with that thing. With the weapon art, I'm guessing. Ooh, what a bad time to attack. And I did a thousand damage. Jesus Christ. Huh, I thought the, uh, the weapon art was going to come out right there. Guess not. Oh man, that caught him so well too. That one was a little bit delayed. I kind of charged that one just to see if it was going to roll to me. And he did indeed. And it caught him like all the way to the side. That was so weird though. Like no attack came out of him. He started one attack and then immediately traded. It was like one of those situations that I always have where nobody attacks. Nobody does nothing. As soon as I go for my hit, somebody goes for their hit. And most of the time they have a lot more hyper armor. And then I get fucked like that guy did, dude. He lost a thousand HP right there. Oh, it's Hellboy again. Hey, Hellboy. What is Goddard's? Alright, let's see what type of action we're gonna have. Why even go for the single one? The other one does so much more damage. Ooh, bad time to do that one. The balls on Hellboy, man. The balls on Hellboy. He said, I'm not backing down, dude. He went all out there. GG, Hellboy. Alright, who do we have here? What the hell is that? Is that the... A scythe? Is that the Great Scythe? I forgot about that too. That is the, the Great Scythe. That's weird. 
Come near me. There we go. That's what I wanted to see, but not a lot of damage. See what I mean? Like, that catches people off guard nicely, but not a lot of damage on it. If I would have hit him with the full thing, it would have been nice. Oh, what? Really? Oh, shit, dude. You got so fucking lucky, Gate. The hyper armor on that thing was pretty nice, but he went for a second hit. He could have gotten away. But he did not. The ball's on this man, too. But that was so weird. Did you see that? He broke my hyper armor for the last hit on the uh, weapon arts war cry attack. That was crazy. I honestly didn't think that was going to happen. I thought, oh, this guy's fucked here. Another 200 damage. An insane amount of damage. But no, he actually broke me out of it. Very surprising. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video with the Great Club. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe consider dropping a like. I would really appreciate it. Maybe if you get a chance, check out my most recent video as well. Here's everything that I'm using and all my rings and stuff. I'm not sure if I showed it in the beginning. All my stats there on the right. But I'll talk to you all later. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace, everybody.